By the time Sabrina Bennett arrived at Lowell, the issue of reconciling the imperative of women to care for the home with factory labor was all but resolved. This was the genius of Francis Cabot Lowell. For the mill that opened in Lowell, Massachusetts in 1821, he proposed carefully supervised boarding houses for girls and young women who would spend a few years at the loom before marriage. He offered relatively high salaries, part of which could easily be saved for a trousseau, to help pay off a mortgage, or to send a brother through college. At the same time, he assured parents that though their daughters would experience hard work and discipline, they would have time to improve themselves. A few years in the factories, at good pay, he argued, would make them into better wives and mothers. His arguments prevailed. The mills at Lowell and elsewhere in New England attracted a reliable labor force, easily disciplined in industrial routines, and cheaper than male labor. The mill girls eagerly participated in preserving their respectability. Aware of the degree to which they had abandoned cherished values, they insisted that they could nevertheless be good. To maintain high standards, boarding house mistresses enforced regular church attendance and prayers before meals. Residents supervised one another, ostracizing any with doubtful morals. They formed reading groups and sewing circles. For a brief period in the 1820s and 1830s, the Waltham-style mills offered women a vision of economic independence. In opening up the possibility of decent and well-paid wage work, that made plausible, even to a large number who did not work in the mills, life outside the confines of a restrictive home environment. The mills satisfied some of the needs of those operatives who, as one exclaimed in 1843, do not believe in matrimony. To these women, working in a mill was freedom and not the opposite. But the 1837 Depression ushered in a period that threatened to reduce even the most privileged female wage earners to the ranks of the oppressed. After that, women found making a living more difficult.